Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Op art was an art movement in the mid 20th century known for its optical play of shapes and colors. These are some paintings by Victor Vasarelli, who was one of the most famous artists of this movement. I created this one, which I'll show you how to do in this tutorial. This document is 1000 by 1000 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Let's fill it with black by pressing Alt or Option Delete. We need to make a new document to create the circle that will be used to make our pattern. To make a new document, press Ctrl or Command N. This document is 20 by 20 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. To enlarge it, grab your magnifying tool, then click on one corner and drag it to the opposite corner and release. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. Click on the ruler and drag the guideline to the center. It'll snap into place because we have Snap checked. Repeat this with the ruler on the left. Now go to the Marquee tool and choose Elliptical Marquee. Then go to the center of the crosshair, hold Shift as you click and drag out to the edge. We need to reverse the selection, so press Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac. Fill it with black by pressing Alt or Option Delete. We want the circle to be very dense, so press Alt or Option Delete two more times. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. Let's name this Dot and press OK. Open up the original file we created and double click on the background. We'll rename it Base. Double click on the base layer and that will open up the layer style window. Click Pattern Overlay and click on the arrow next to the little box. The last icon image is the circle dot we created. Click on it and that will fill our entire document with this as a pattern. Click on the Channels tab, go to the last icon on the bottom left and click on it. This will make a selection of the entire circular dot pattern. Go back to the Layers window and click on the New Layer icon. Press the letter X to reverse the foreground and background colors and then press Alt or Option Delete to fill the selection with white. Click on the base layer and drag the pattern overlay effects into the trash since we won't be needing it anymore. Let's rename the dot pattern Dots. Go to Select, Save Selection and we'll type in Dots. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection. Drag the rulers to the center of this document just like we did before. It should snap into place as long as you have Snap checked. Get your elliptical marquee tool and as before hold Shift as you click on the crosshair and drag out to the edge. We'll rename the selection Circle. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection and Ctrl or Command H to hide the guidelines. To merge all our visible layers and place the composite on its own layer, press Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Let's rename this composite Dots. We're now ready to manipulate our field of dots to give it a Vasarelli op art look. Go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. The Spherize window will open. Slide the amount all the way to 100%. Go back to Filter, Distort, and this time choose Twirl. The Twirl window will open. I'm choosing 100 degrees for the angle. Remember, you can assign your op art shapes whatever numbers look good to you. The permutations are endless. Just have fun manipulating your shapes for your digital op art painting. I'm going to give it one more distortion filter. Go to Filter, Distort, and Zigzag. 
The zigzag window will open. I'm choosing the amount as 100 and the ridge is 2. I'm also choosing out from center for the style. Press Control or Command while clicking on the new layer icon. This puts a new layer below the active layer. Then press Control or Command Delete to fill the layer with the background color which is black. Click on the dots layer and open up the channels tab. Click on the icon on the left and this will make a selection of the dot layer. Go back to the layers window and click on the new layer icon and drag the black layer in between the dots and the new layer. Click on the new layer to make it active and then go to the left of the screen and click on the gradient tool. Click on the arrow to the right of the gradient box and then click on the arrow to the right of the thumbnails. This will open up a list of all of your gradient sets. I'm going to choose Color Harmonies 1. This window will open. For now just press OK so we can just see this set in the thumbnail window. I'm going to click on the second gradient on the left and I'm choosing a radial gradient. The gradient editor will open. The name of this preset gradient is Light Spectrum and this box shows its colors. These colors are fully editable by clicking on these tiny boxes and either replacing their colors and or removing, adding, or sliding them to other positions on the bar. Press shift as you click on the center of the crosshair and then drag across to the edge of the document. This fills the selection with those gradient of colors and radiates out from the center where we clicked. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection. Click on the black layer to make it active. We're going to fill it with the same color set, but this time click on the linear gradient. Hold down Shift as you click on the lower right corner and drag up to the left corner. The Shift key confines the angles to 45, 90, and 180 degrees. Next, click on the rectangular marquee tool click on the upper left corner and drag it to the opposite corner. Go to Select and Transform Selection or you can just press Control or Command T. Click on a corner and drag it in. I'm dragging it in the distance of three dots. To accept the transform click on the little arrow or just press Enter or Return. Go to Select, Save Selection and we'll name this Inner Rectangle. Open the Channels tab and press Control alt or Command Option on a Mac as you click on the circle. This will subtract the circle selection from the Inner Rectangle selection resulting in four shapes near each corner. We'll save the selection and name it Corner Shapes. Go back to the Layers tab and with our background layer still active Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the selection. Then press Ctrl or Command L to bring up the Levels window. I'll slide the midtones in to the right. We'll merge all the active layers together and place it on its own layer by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. I want to pump up the brightness, contrast, and colors overall, so I'll press Control shift l to do this. So here is our final op art digital painting in the style of Victor Vassarelli. If we invert the image by pressing Control or Command i we'll get a completely different version of the painting. Vassarelli, as well as other op artists, often created multiple versions of the same painting since changing the colors, saturation, brightness, and contrast of the image would result in a totally different look and feel. I'm going to show you one more effective way to create stunningly beautiful op art images using just one filter on a pattern of geometric shapes. This is the same dot pattern we used earlier. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. The Wave window will open. Depending on the numbers you assign to each aspect of the wave, it will drastically or subtly change its look. 
For example, assigning these numbers you see here to the dot pattern, we get this image. And by changing around some of the numbers more, we'll get this image. We're using circular dots here, but you could create patterns of boxes or triangles or any other geometric shape that will completely change the look of your piece. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.